Hello, my name is Julia Unal and I'm a naturalist at Walter B. Jacobs Memorial Nature Park, which is one of Caddo Parish Parks. Welcome to an introduction to acrylic painting program. Today we're going to paint a pair of sparrows perching on a snowy branch. For this painting, we, uh, the paints that we need are permanent black, titanium white, burnt umber, burnt sienna, uh, yellow ochre, and uh, navy blue. And, uh, the, and the brushes that we're going to need are a large angular, a small angular, a medium, <laughs> medium sized flat head, a small flat head, a round thin brush or a liner, a number 12 uh, filbert, a mop brush, and a bristle brush. Uh, as, as usual, I uh, did my sketches on a piece of paper first to know where to locate uh, everything on my canvas. And then, since I can't see the markings of the bird really clearly on the, in this photograph I printed the bird that we're going to paint to see the markings clearly and I added the facial markings of the bird on my sketch so uh, the substrate we're going to use is 8x10 canvas but any size will do, if you like. Okay, if you're ready, let's begin. So after painting the background sky uh, with blue, light blue first, we're going to put some dark later. Uh, I put the branch that they are on, sketched it with very light brown, in fact burnt sienna, kind of reddish. And then I started painting the silhouette of two birds on the branch with white first. Okay, after drawing the silhouette of the birds uh, to really locate them, I will start, uh, I have started here putting uh, colors, um, started with uh, burnt sienna, reddish brown, and then layer after layer, we're going to add the colors uh, of the birds to show their, show their markings. And before I start putting the darker colors on, I wanted to make sure I can see the uh, markings on the face and their locations. I just switched my brush to the liner to do the details. Okay, here I made the, I'm correcting a, a mistake that I just saw. I make corrections uh, as I go. Uh, the bird is too uh, fluffy here. I'm trying to make it a little bit slimmer. Uh, so that's why 
I painted it with dark blue so I can get rid of that brown line. And then uh, go, went over the dark blue with white to make it lighter to match the rest of the sky. If you haven't made your bird too fat like, like mine, and too fluffy, don't worry about it. Uh, you can make your own corrections. As you see, it is very easy to uh, get rid of the mistakes. Uh, I mix burnt umber with black to make the top of the head uh, a little bit darker. When I put the darker colors on the bird, to the darker parts, I keep whitening them uh, with uh, white because uh, there is not much coloration on the, on the chest of the birds. Uh, so I basically use burnt uh, umber uh, for the darker parts. And then when the paint is still wet, I use my white color to blur and uh, make the shadows softer. I started the painting the uh, log that they are perching on uh, with burnt umber 
and then uh, I'm going to add black and then uh, I will add for highlights uh, yellow ochre Let's put the shadow on this bird's eye too. I mean, not the shadow, let's put the light. I would like to first do this and then I'm going to do the... I'm going to put black again to blend in. So the remaining <clears throat> white will look like will show the edges of the eye. I'm going to put the black in the middle now. I'm trying to leave some white dots so we can see where the bird's eyes are. 
because the edges are a little bit white, you know, lighter because there's skin. I and in the middle there's a patch of light. I'm going to make around the eyes really dark now outside here. This really thin white patch here. This black is This is a little, let's make this a little bit thicker too. Just at the edge of the <clears throat> beak. I think this bird's head here is a little bit too bulky.
I'm using yellow ochre to make the barky look. I'm using now the <coughs> burnt amber. I'm going to use this bristle brush to do the uh, s small parts of the snow. Let's see how it goes. I'm using just white. Using flake, snow is flaky a little bit at the edges. I take a lot of paint and kind of leave gaps, kind of like powdery at the edges. Just the tops. I am touching very lightly to make it look flaky. Now, <coughs> with this thin brush, I'm going to put shadows where the birds are with uh, burnt umber with white mixed. So, I'm just going to make some. I'm going to use black to make the bottom part a little bit darker. Very little. The shadow is on the bird, not on the snow. I'm going to pull these upward with filbert before they dry. I'm going to Make use some white. Waited too long, it dried already. God, this shoe dries faster. I'm getting rid of this. Like that. Let's do the same thing to the other one. This one has some darker spots too, right here. Let's 
It's like here and there snow has, uh, has holes. I'm going to get, I'm trying to get these darker lines upward, like the feathers. And then I'm going to use some white to get rid of too much. Okay, I think we're done with the birds. Let's do the snow coming down. Let's do this part first. Okay, now we're going to do snowflakes. Let's choose our brush for snow. I don't want to sprinkle it like this. I don't want it to come on birds. So we're going to put the snowflakes by hand. Let's put some snow on bird's head too. <laughs> like this one. They are sitting in the snow, they should have some snow on top of their head, right? I am blurring these snowflakes with water. I think this is all. Well, this would be the end of the program. I hope you enjoyed painting your sparrows. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.